Hey guys, Migs here. Today we're gonna be finally installing the big bore onto the pit bike. So I finally got the big bore in the mail and it is so nice. It's not a 143cc big bore, it's a 150cc big bore. Probably the same exact you know, power difference, but whatever. I also have uh, the new gaskets and then I also have the uh, old head that I'm gonna be cleaning up. Then we have all the parts organized in the parts tray. So before we start uh, assembling this big bore into the pit bike, I want to clean up this uh, head because it is all oily and stuff, especially you know inside the uh, exhaust valve because of burnt oil. So I want to clean it up before I put it in, maybe clean up where the gasket's going, have a little better seal. All right, so that's all I'm gonna clean it up really. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take off all of this stuff because that's gonna just take way too long. As long as it's just a little bit cleaner inside of the exhaust valve. Just, you know, a little bit outside, get off all the little particles that might fall in while installing it. So just clean that up a little bit. So yeah, now that that's clean, we're gonna start uncovering the engine. We'll start uncovering it. It's been a while since I've even seen inside of here. Hopefully I remember how to put it all back together. Okay, hey, looks like uh, my paper towels and plastic bag work pretty well. All right, so now what we have to do is take off the piston, which is probably gonna be kind of difficult because of the how small the little C-clips are in there. So I'm gonna try and record it as best as possible getting this out. It's gonna be kind of hard because I have to get really close into there. All right, so I just got out the uh, piston. All you have to do is take out one side of the C-clip and then it can just slide right out. But now that that's out, now I'm going to start installing the new piston. Actually, instead of putting on the piston right away, I'm going to take advantage of, you know, having more space to work in here. And I'm just going to try and scrape off as much of excess gasket off the engine as possible, just so we could get a better seal. Alright, so I just scraped off like the thicker layers of gasket. You don't have to take off every single black part that's on the engine, just the thicker part that's you know, gonna be kind of bumpy and not make a nice seal. All right guys, now we're gonna be installing the piston. I already oiled the uh, wrist pin and the side skirts on the piston. So then you just slide the connecting rod between the piston and then slide in your wrist pin. Sometimes the wrist pin won't want to go in all the way, so you could just give it a little light tap with the hammer and then it'll slide right in. But now that that's in, we just put on the uh, C-clip and then it should be all ready to go. So for this, you only have to put in uh, one C-clip on the other side because it came uh, with the C-clip on the other side, but it comes with an extra just in case you lose it. All right, so I got in the C-clip. I couldn't really record getting it in because, you know, the, the whole camera stand and everything was in the way, but I got it in and now we can start working, putting on the whole cylinder. So before putting on the cylinder, you need to put on the new gasket. So now we're going to be sliding on the, uh, the whole cylinder and make sure that you oiled up the cylinder walls because, you know, it's good to keep it lubricated once you put the piston in and then it starts running. So you slide that in like that. Then bring your cam chain, slide it between the two guides. Now that the uh, cylinder's on, now we need to slide on the uh, piston, which is gonna be pretty tricky because you have to compress the rings by hand. I don't think I'm gonna record this part because I need you know as much space as possible to fit in there. But I'll catch you guys back once this piston's on. All right, so the uh, piston is in the cylinder. And uh, you know, sorry I couldn't really record putting in the piston rings. It would've took way longer. I would've ran out of storage. For recording but it's in and it sits in there pretty nicely now what we have to do is just put on this gasket put on the head and tighten down the camshaft all right now we're just gonna slide on the new gasket all right now we're gonna slide on the head then as you're doing this feed the cam chain through the head so I have on the head and now what we have to do is time it and I'm gonna try out a way to time it that I don't think it's probably right, but I think it's still gonna work. So what you're supposed to do is usually take off this cover over here because you know there's like the flywheel and everything and you can adjust it. I set the engine to top dead center already and the mark for top dead center that's on the cam is right here and it has to line up to the threads or you know, a, or a little bit above it. So I'm just gonna try and do it like that and then tighten it down. I'm pretty sure it should be right, but we'll just see how this goes. So the cam is on and now we have to torque it with the torque wrench to about eight and a half foot pounds. 
not too much torque, but still got to torque it just to make sure everything's right. So just to make this uh, easier tightening down the cam, I'm just going to put on the, uh, the four head bolts, not the ones in there yet, but just the top four and torque them down to 16 foot pounds. down the uh, the cam bolts now I need to put on the cam tensioner guys so now we're having a problem that it's not kicking over and it sounds like the piston is hitting one of the valves so like it won't kick over so I'm guessing that it's timed wrong so I think I'm gonna have to uh, take off this side cover I'm just hoping that these Phillips head don't start stripping out and everything because they are notorious for doing that. So even though I just uh, unbolted all of these uh, screws, I think I just got it timed right just by putting the spark plug in the, I mean the screwdriver in the spark plug hole, finding that's on, that it's on top dead center and then lining it up and now it's timed I think correctly. So now that we have it timed correctly, now I'm gonna put on the cam cover, uh, those bolts that I just took out, I'm gonna put back in, uh, hook up the carb, and then we'll try and fire it up. back together now I'm just gonna pour in some oil and I hope that this thing will fire up All right, guys it's time to see if this thing will fire up I really hope it does all right so the pit bike is not starting and I know exactly why the piston and the valves are hitting and I think I know solutions to this I've seen some people uh, you know stack up uh, gaskets before but if you guys know let me know down in the comments or do you think maybe I should just return this big bore and just do a and then just put in new piston rings and put in the older piston pretty bummed that it's not starting but you know what are you gonna do but stay tuned for motorcycle builds my battery came today so i'm gonna be working on that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments you know maybe ways to fix this if you guys know but thanks for watching please subscribe like comment tell your friends about the channel